thrown over a fence last week has found a new owner. Brady Williams joins us live with a welcome ending to a story we first brought to you last week. So they named her Esther and folks were basically breaking down the doors trying to get her and adopt her here. They say it's great when that happens. Videos like this that go around tend to spark a lot of emotion in people. But they say that if it's a story you're looking for when it comes to a dog, there are no shortage of them at Animal Care who need help and have a similar story. Um, Esther's now living her best life, um, you know, cozying up on the couch, getting lots of snuggles and just being the best that she can be. Last week, when a man threw this dog over the fence at Cincinnati Animal Care, people were appalled and they came out in droves to try to adopt her. Um, it tends to happen almost every time, uh, which is amazing. We have an incredible community here in Hamilton County that gives us a lot of love and shows a lot of love to the animals in our care. Uh, we would love to see that continue for all the dogs in our care. The shelter's communications director, Lisa Kalina, says when a dog story becomes high profile and people reach out, it shows they care. Esther was adopted by the very first person to apply, but every other applicant was encouraged to find another dog. Do they uh, typically take that offer? Uh, more often no than we do see, but uh, sometimes they do come back and want to take home one of our other great animals. When we met with Kalina, she had a dog in her office pregnant and ready to give birth at any moment. They constantly have dogs with unique stories that you just might not have heard yet. Esther has a new home because her story caught attention and people cared. It's only the caring that matters to Esther. Everyone here in this community has the opportunity to, to, to change a dog's story by doing the exact same thing for any of the 500 plus dogs that we have in our care. You know, this is happening all the time, and they also need fosters. In particular, today, while we were here, we learned that they were rescuing 14 different dogs from an animal cruelty situation. Today, they had over 200 pounds of chains wrapped around these dogs, weighing them down. They say that they're going to need fosters because those dogs need to stay in there throughout the entirety of the criminal investigation. It just shows that there are tons of dogs like this and if you have someone you have that compassion then you should just go ahead and adopt a dog don't wait for something to show up on the news now as for esther's case they say that they do have some leads on that video that was shown they believe they may be able to locate the person who's responsible for this live in north side with photojournalist philip krinsky brady williams fox 19 now brady thank you very much a five-year-old boy continues